here. Let's say ending inventory now is understated. So for example, this adjusting entry here, if you should have reported again, $15,000, but now you understated the ending inventory by $5,000 or $1,200. Okay, so meaning that the dollar amount should have been more than this, should have been $16,200, for example. If ending inventory part is understated, you have, you thought you had this amount, but you really, you, you actually had more than this. So it's understated by $1,200, and cost of goods sold at the same time will be overstated. So those two accounts will always have the opposite effect because all together it forms cost of goods available for sale. So if you thought you kept more than the other accounts, you actually had less. If you thought you had understated in the inventory, then cost of goods sold, you have an <coughs> overstatement. And then if the expenses are overstated, then your income will be less than what you actually have. Then income drops properly will have an understatement of the same dollar amount. So again, cost of goods sold expense is the only one that has the opposite direction compared to um, ending inventory, gross profit, and net income. Inventory and cost of goods sold, which one is permanent account, which one is temporary account? And the temporary account is the ones that we close out at the end of the season, we close the entries for. So in, in the inventory, which really is inventory account, cost of goods sold expense, which one will be closed out, which one stays in the business's financial statements and carries on. Expense. Expense and revenues will be closed out, right? Anything that you see on income statement, revenues, expenses, remember closing entries, those are the first two. Okay, what's kept in the business is really inventory from these. Okay, so the understatement and overstatement 